Okay, hi, it's me, Tree. This is number two of um, the health angels, the Las Vegas health angels, and Pee Wee and Tree. Okay, so hang on again. <laughs> Okay, so now, anyhow, so Pee Wee, he's an elite health angel here, too. He's been a health angel for a long time. He actually was even a health angel, I assume, longer than um, Dave Burgess and Troy Regas, because Dave Burgess and Troy Regas were health angel supporters. They were called the Reno Renegades, but they didn't become health angels until later. And, um, well, all the health angels, even though, like I said, most of you people don't know that, but you scratch beneath the surface, you will find it's the truth. Um, okay, and so, um, Pee Wee met with me, and, you know, he uh, got me a job at this place called the Hush Club as a hostess, and anyway, it was real dead. I didn't make any money there, really, so I didn't work. And, um, anyhow, though, he came over, and he met with me, and he talked with me, and um, out of the blue, I actually didn't even ask these questions or provoke this conversation. He brought it up completely on his own. And he's like, you know, Tree, he said, the health angels and child pornography should not be used in the same sentence. And he was mad about it. You know, he's like, it's bullshit. You can't even go online and put in the health angels without hearing about child pornography. And he told me, and this is the honest to God truth, and I can only assume that he told with me and met with me like this because he, him and other health angels must want, no, you know, you guys to know this, because they can't just come out there and make videos and, and say anything, you know, but for someone as high in rank as Pee Wee is, you know, to come out and tell me these things, he would have to know that I'm going to tell you, because that's what I do, and he's known about me for years and years and years and years, okay, and um, so anyhow, he told me that he thinks Dave Burgess is guilty of the child pornography, and he told me a bunch of health angels think Dave Burgess is guilty of child pornography. And he told me that Dave Burgess made sexual advances on his daughter, on Pee Wee's daughter, when Pee Wee's daughter was a minor. And um, he told me that him and a bunch of health angels are really pissed off because Dave Burgess is still a health angel. He wasn't kicked out of the club. I thought he was, but he's not. I don't know if he's still the world president, but he is still in the club. And so Pee Wee told me that him and Troy are not seeing eye to eye and they're not getting along. There's a dispute, internal dispute amongst the health angels. And so basically 1%, 1% of the health angels, or 1%ers or filthy few, are running this international human trafficking child pornography snuff zoning ring. Only 1%. The other health angels um, aren't. And, and it's like, you know, when they have to do certain things for the club, which they're used for, like, slave labor anyway, and they're not even getting to have it, the glory of being able to ride around, and they're, you know, a lot of them are in prison, and a lot of them are going to prison. Like, Pee Wee, you know, he was at the wedding last year between the Health Angel and the Mongo when there was that fight or whatever, and so he told me that he expects, you know, before the year's up to be charged with that, and, you know, that he might be going to prison, and, um, he told me that um, that Dave Burgess has been beat up twice by the Aryan Brotherhood in prison and is in solitary confinement, and also that Dave Burgess is turning to the state's evidence against the Hells Angels because he wants to stay in solitary confinement because if he gets put back in population, that the um, penthouse crew or you know the, the Hells Angels in prison are going to murder him or are going to kill him. And, you know, so don't think that Pee Wee's being a narc and don't think he's saying anything to incriminate the Hells Angels or anything not or not. He talked with me and told me straight up that they're not involved, the Hells Angels, you know, and if, you know, they might, you know, the tasks that they have to do and different things, you know, it's like on a need-to-know basis. They don't tell them what the real thing is that they're doing, you know. I mean, it, it could be something like having a semi full of children with, you know, have been given drugs, given drugs so they sleep or something, and, you know, the health angel driving the truck across the country or somewhere and then not knowing that there's children in the back. And that's an example that I'm pretty sure that, you know, that goes down, but if I wasn't told that, I just think that. But I was told by Pee Wee that um, him and a bunch of the health angels think Dave Burgess is guilty of 
with child pornography and that he, they want him kicked out of the club and Troy won't kick him out. And Troy wouldn't get him a lawyer either, I think, because he wanted him out of the way so he could have all the power. And that Pee Wee told me that Dave Burgess made sexual advances on Pee Wee's daughter when she was a minor a long time ago. And um, so what I'm telling you right now is not to um, cause any bad things towards the health angels. It's to tell everybody that the conflict is internal. And there's an internal conflict in the health angels right now. And they're all under Troy's power having to kiss the bat. And Troy doesn't give anybody any respect or anything. You know, and he's not taking care of the club. He's not looking out for everybody. He's running them ragged. And they're having to risk their lives and freedom all the time for what? You know, to always be harassed by the cops and not be able to fly their colors and stuff? That's bullshit. The Hell's Angels are angels and we're in hell and they are potential earth fathers and earth kings. And, um, but 1% of the Hell's Angels are doing the child pornography and obviously um, I was told this because um, they want you to know that, the Hell's Angels. He didn't tell me I could make this video. I haven't talked to him in a few weeks because the place where I stay, the person is like really possessive over me and won't let me go anywhere or do anything. And I'm not allowed to go over by the Hells Angels clubhouse anymore. If I was hanging out with Pee Wee, I'd be accused of be whatever, any way, anyway, stupid. But so I haven't been able to see Pee Wee or talk to him for a few weeks. But um, the Hells Angels, Las Vegas, and Pee Wee are heroes. They're our heroes. So no, the Hells Angels are not involved in child pornography, just 1% or the one percenters, or the filthy few. Not all of them, but just some of them. Okay, I love you guys. I'll be back in a minute, okay? Okay, I have two minutes left. <laughs> so I want to say one more thing too. Um, Evita Perón, you know, the first lady of Argentina, she's my hero. Um, but one of the quotes that she had was, My simple woman's heart has begun to vibrate with the eternal chord of a mortal space. My simple woman's heart has begun to vibrate with the eternal chord of a mortal space. My name becomes a battle cry for the living all over the world, the beat of Perón. And also, um, I wanted you to know that Barack Obama, um, Knight Commander or of the Order of the British Empire, and the British Empire requires the people in the secret society to swear allegiance to foreign head, the foreign head of state, which is Queen Elizabeth II now. So by Barack Obama and being in the Order of the Bath and stuff, and Knight Commander of the British Empire, you know, being a member of that requires that he swear allegiance to the foreign head of state, which is Queen Elizabeth II. So anyway, that's you know simple way way to simplify how she and the Illuminati are running the United States of America through not the United States of America being part of Great Britain, but by the ones who are running the United States to be in their secret society. Okay, peace out. I love you guys. Just hang out a little longer. I'm telling you something's got to break. Um, oh yeah, but I'm gonna make another video here now too because I want to tell you about Pendar. What's going on? With them. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's one more thing I have to tell you too. Um, Pee Wee told me that the last time he saw Troy and Troy's girlfriend, who she's been his girlfriend for a long time, a <laughs> long time up. She went by Carrie at the ranch, but her name is Sarah. And Pee Wee told me that she was pregnant. He didn't say when the last time he saw Troy was, but I have to assume it was sometime over the summer. And so Troy is is going to be or has just recently become a daddy. God help that child. I just hope Troy isn't using his child the way he, Troy was used when he was a baby. Alright. We're just getting started. This is going to be crazy. It's going to be huge. I mean, everything is going to happen. You know, just getting the ball rolling. Getting the ball rolling. Order out of chaos order out of chaos. I got that idea from the Freemasons. <laughs>